Good morning, everyone. Sorry again. Good morning, Ghent. Thank you. So I'm the hype man this year uh, because I figured we all know that Chris and Toshan, as well as the other organizers, but these two especially, have been really working it to make this conference a crazy success. Uh, Toshan has not slept in about three weeks, and uh, Chris, Chris has also been super busy organizing. So instead of them coming up here and giving the intro, I thought I'd come up here, get the crowd hyped, and please give a huge warm round of applause for Chris and Toshan. Thank you, Jake. Did you? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is gonna be five minutes of awkward. <laughs> this is way too low for me. Welcome back. <laughs> hey. grab, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay, so next to my, my advice about James, don't let him babysit your kids. Oh, God. <laughs> there's people in the audience who know why. Uh, now there's also the advice, don't let him fool around with microphones. So yeah, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, we have a full room again. There is an overflow room. We have hashtags on, now it's not only Twitter, but also Mastodon. For those who are not on the wireless yet, it's the same as last time, so your laptop might just have reconnected. My phone did. Um, there's one slight change for logistics for today. Typically, we have the overflow room and the second track in the B building, today only. It's going to be in the C building. So you're basically going to have to go outside and go all the way up to C1155. Uh, there's already people there. Um, the first talk after the break in that room is going to be Michael Cody. Um, it's a five minute walk there. And there should be signage. There is signage. Uh, I checked the signage. Um, <coughs> The evolving door on the front of the building is broken, so you need to take the small side door. But that's about the only annoyance. Um, yeah. This is conflict management camp. This is, for some of you, day four or day five of conferences after FOSDEM. Uh, day seven? Okay. The shot is day seven. Um, as usual, the reason why we started this conference ages ago is because we wanted different communities to talk to each other and to learn from each other and to figure out how they had fixed problems before so other people don't need to reinvent the wheel. And I think this picture is still striking. This is um, an MGMT contributing who was tweeting about a Vox Populi contributor talking at Puppet Contributors Summit with a Habitat t-shirt. And yeah, DevOps Days, Ghent organizer ruined the picture. So there's like a lot of communities mingling. Um, a bunch of tools have changed, a bunch of tools have evolved, some have disappeared, some are still here and still going strong. But I think what, what brings us all together is we want to do infrastructure automation with open source tools and whatever new tools are going to pop up and we're going to learn about today and tomorrow, that's why we are here. Um, you've had coffee, you've had some croissants and stuff. Um, the resto is open. Tashan, so there's discounts if you have wristbands and the wristbands. Uh, or if you have your entrance ticket, just show it and you get a menu at a discounted price. It's eight euro for a menu then. Um, so that means you get soup, main dish and a drink. And obviously speakers come and see us because we have vouchers for you. Um, there is a third day, the fringe of the fringe of the fringe. Um, Please register for the workshops you want to go to, so we can actually reshuffle rooms if we see that there's more people interested in certain topic than others. Then we make sure that we don't give MGMT a room that seats three, but we actually give it the size it deserves, which is five. <laughs> this morning was a bit of a... We weren't sure what the order was going to be. Um, <laughs> But right now, we're quite sure um, 
Adam is sitting right there. He made it in time, so Adam is going to open. Uh, then we're going to have Lee breaks, then there's going to be a break, and then we're actually going to split out. Jerry is going to be in this room, Cody is going to be in the other room, and after that we have Ignites. Um, there's at least two people who still need to send me their slides, but I don't see Lander and I. Well, slides for the Ignite for today. So David, you're still fine. Um, I don't see Philip and I don't see Lander. So if you bump into any of them, they still need to send me your slides. Um, I prepared this slide and for now it's no changes, which is a miracle. Um, and I'm actually going to give the word to Tosha now because he's going to talk about the people that, besides a bunch of us and Bert, make this happy happen. So yeah, we have sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ansible is our titanium sponsor. Um, you know them from the tool. Um, they're owned by Red Hat, by IBM, whoever you want to talk about. Um, so they help us, they have a boot. Um, if you go visit the boots of all the sponsors that have boots, you can get your wristbands. They give you discounted lunch, but they also give you free drinks on the social event. Um, then we have GitLab. They actually have a fringe day, so tomorrow and Wednesday they have their hack day. You have AT Computing. Um, Axis, Beta Dots, um, Isinga, Puppet, and Freelance. They all have boots in the main hall. Um, again, <coughs> again, if you visit them, you get uh, swag, you can get um, to talk to them, um, and you can get wristbands from them. The next one is Inuit, um, Firefly, Kangaroo, uh, Sighub, Atix, Pulumi and Red Hat. Um, in this case, it's Red Hat with Foreman and Pulp. Again, the, they always have a boot there. Um, you can visit them, they'll explain you all the sales stuff. Um, and then we have the silver ones, so um, Sinatoso, uh, Hashikor, CF Engine, uh, Skyscrapers, and Synchromind. Uh, they do not have boots, but they are still very good sponsors. Um, you might know Ashikar from their tools or CF Engine. Um, a few of the other ones are uh, different type of solutions. Then you have the core sponsor, so Ho Gent. So Bert there, he wasn't uh, thanked in, in the introduction, but he's the one who gives us the venue. So thank him at least. <laughs> Then you have Inuits again, so that's Chris's company. And then you have Fantosh, my company. Uh, we have Han from City TV. And in the other room, we have Mark from Sigayo. They help us with all the video and media stuff. Um, we have Compass, so that's the uh, company that actually does the catering for the uh, university. They are, were friendly enough to do uh, discounted prices for the menu. But they're also helping us out actually with the coffee and the uh, breakfast, which means that we have more time to do other stuff. Um, and then we have a bunch of bronze ones, so Famipau, uh, Sys11, uh, Vox Pupili, and Rudder. Um, so that's all of the sponsors. Um, we do have a social event, um, a beer event, a community event. You go towards the C building, so the overflow of today, you walk out, um, there is a little uh, crossing, be careful that you don't get killed there, and then you can go to the, uh, the zone it's called. Um, like I said, you need a wristband to get free beer, you will get for a limited time free beer, there will be food, um, and you can stay there as long as you want, but we will close the tab at some point and then you can keep on drinking on your own expenses. And that's it for us, um, enjoy. Um, Adam should be our first speaker. Yeah.